Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to hack a PSP. This will work on any model. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're updated to the latest firmware. After that, take your memory stick out of your PSP and put it into an adapter. I recommend getting one of these micro SD to memory stick adapters. It'll save you a lot of money. You can also plug in your USB cable in order to connect to your computer. If you don't have a micro SD adapter, buy one of these for a couple bucks from China. Once you're on your computer, click the link in the description to download the files. It'll bring you here. Hit download this file. Let it download. Once you got that downloaded, go ahead and extract it. After that, go into the folder, go into PSP CFW pack, go into the infinity folder. If you have a PSP Go, you're going to want this folder. If you have an, any other PSP, you're going to want this folder. Go into this folder for that. You're going to see this, eboot.pbp, on your memory stick. Go into the PSP folder. Go into Game. And if you don't already have a folder called Update, make a new folder. Name it Update in all capital letters. Transfer eboot.pbp over to this folder. If you have PSP Go, just go into the PSP Go folder and do the same thing. Put the eboot.ppp file into the update folder. Once that's done, go back. Go into the CFW folder. You can either get LME or Pro. There's really no difference anymore. There used to be, not anymore. I'm going to go with the Pro. Now you're going to want to take these two folders and put them in the root and merge any folders that it asks you to. Replace any files that it asks you to. Once that's done, you're all set on the computer. You can go ahead and take out your memory stick and put it back in your PSP. So once you've transferred your files and put the memory stick back in the PSP, you'll see this under Game. Go to Memory Stick. You'll see these three things here. Go to Infinity 2. Once this is loaded up, you're going to want to hit X to install. Since I've already done that, it's not here. But just do that. It should install pretty quickly. Then hit X to reboot or circle, whatever it tells you. And then the PSP will reboot. Once your PSP is rebooted, go down to Memory Stick again, and this time you're going to want to go to Update. Once you're here, you'll see this screen. You're going to want to hit X to launch custom firmware. That should also finish pretty quickly. Hit X to start custom firmware. The PSP will now reboot. After that, go back into the Memory Stick on Games and go back to Infinity 2. Then just hit left on the arrow and pick Pro Custom Firmware if that's what you chose. Make sure there's a little dot next to it. After that, just hit Home, X to exit. And that's it. Now you have a hacked PSP. If you want to add PSP games, just take your ISO file and put them in a folder on the root of the memory stick called ISO. And just like that, they should work. Let's put this back in the PSP and test them out. Now I have a 64 gigabyte SD card, so it takes a while to load with all these games on there. Once it loads, you'll see all of your games right here, and they all should work without a problem. If you have any issues, let me know. Questions and concerns, put them down in the comments. I'll see if I can help. Other than that, take care. Your games should also load faster on memory stick than they do on the disc. Like, comment, and subscribe.